this isn't just about coming in and saying, hey, this goes here. Let me put this here and now the place looks neat. I'm going to leave. It's actually creating a system so that people can keep that organization going well beyond your visit to their home. Over my real estate career, I've run into a number of people that have always mentioned one common theme in terms of what's difficult for them to keep in place in their home. And that's just having a general system of organization. So that's for the everyday homeowner or you know, just people that live in their homes. Where does something go? Where to put this? Where to store that? General place for organization. Uh, for my sellers, when it's time to get prepared for listing photos or for showings, you know, there's a lot of clutter. How do we declutter and, and keep things consistent during the listing period? And then for my buyers, you know, how to plan, how to prepare for when the time comes for them to move from one home to their new home, how to put a system in place and make that happen effectively. So with that being the case, um, I thought it would be a great idea to connect with a great friend and colleague, uh, Ms. Jerrica Bragdon, who is the owner and operator of To Be Organized Atlanta. And she's gonna share with us some tips and insights from a professional organizer standpoint that will help you whether you're a homeowner, uh, someone looking to sell, or someone that has recently purchased, how to create a system of organization for your home. So before we jump into that, Jerrica, I appreciate your time. Of Always course, good of to course. connect with you. Um, I would say certain things about what you talked about before we got on camera, but I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> right? Jerrica has nicknames for people, and I think it's inappropriate, but we'll move past that. So back on a serious note, um, before we kind of get into it, I know I, I gave an overview of what the challenges are for most of us as homeowners, including mm -hmm. myself and Star, as you're well aware of. But tell me, what is a professional organizer? So basically, a professional organizer is a person who really is an expert because we like to go into your house, kind of get a, a feel of how you live mm -hmm. in your everyday, what your problem areas are, what your pains are and come up with a solution that will be able to work for you once we leave. We don't want to leave and then everything's back in a mess. We okay. want to come there and evaluate your home, say, okay, this is your problem area. Here are solutions. We know how to pick out the perfect product without you having to go to the container store and Target, <laughs> picking out a lot of things that don't fit. You know, we know exactly what products that are best for your space and we'll implement that system, you know, show you how to keep it up once we leave because unfortunately we can't live with you guys mm -hmm. but that way you can keep it up on your own so we're okay. pretty much just experts in all spaces in a home all right so you say all spaces in a home and i take it that means garages as well mm -hmm. and one of the key things i know you mentioned was systems so if i'm understanding correctly this isn't just about coming in and saying hey this goes here let me put this here and now the place looks neat, I'm gonna leave. It's actually creating a system so that people can keep that organization going well beyond your visit to their home, correct? Yes, exactly. Just so, even though whatever products that we pick, it'll be something that works for you, was something that you like even aesthetically for yourself. Mm -hmm. And once the things are there, you'll be like, oh, it's so much easier for me to put things back, to clean up, to find things, just depending on what space. And yes, you are correct, garages, mm -hmm. Closets, pantries, okay. any space. All right. So it makes a lot more sense to me now what a professional organizer uh -huh. is, right? <laughs> and I can tell you, I couldn't be a professional organizer. <laughs> and I like to put my things certain places, but whether it's going to be there, you know, systematically, that's a whole different thing. But Most let me people. ask you a question. Professional organizer. My 10 years of real estate, I can't say that I'm met and had a relationship with another professional organizer. Uh -huh. What led you down the path to becoming a professional organizer? Um, well, I was in corporate for like 10 years and okay. then I realized like I don't love this and mm -hmm. I really want to do something that I'm passionate about and that, you know, helps people. Uh, since I was a kid, I've always loved to organize, loved to clean. My mom has teased me my whole life about how particular I am. As, so as I, she should. No kids <laughs> like to clean, so you definitely oh, have a problem. I was, I'm a kid that likes to vacuum the rug for the lines in it. No, man, you have a problem. <laughs> you have a problem. That was we need me. to cut the tape. That's madness. <laughs> 
From a child, you used to like to keep the place I clean and tidy. everything clean. You know what I think you should do? Forget the organizing thing. Okay. We have a son named Cairo. Okay. He's a madman. <laughs> the man knows how to make a mess. He refused to clean it up. So we're going to send him home with you. Ooh. And you teach him the tricks of the trade. And I don't know how to deal with little boys. When he's 16. I'll be terrified. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll be too terrified. So you said from a, from a kid, you always just had that in you. You like to keep your it. place a certain way. Yep. And then I, I found this company and it was a franchise opportunity. Okay. And, you know, I spoke with the owners and it was a great opportunity for me. And I felt like I would be able to be my own boss, be there for my children. But I also would be a part of a bigger team. And mm. we have places and different franchises everywhere. So it was just the best route for me yeah. to not have to start from the ground, you know? No, man, it, it makes perfect sense. And you said a couple of things that stuck on uh, that stood out to me just now um in corporate america so that's mm -hmm. the typical nine to five grind yep and what you highlighted was the benefits or some of the pros of going the franchise route as opposed to going and you know starting from the ground up mm -hmm. and you said that this is a route that has worked for you and still gives you the space and opportunity to be your own boss yep but have that quality time when you need it for family and things of that nature yes yeah, well. especially you know with young kids and you know you want to go to field trips and mm -hmm. all that you know i can make my own schedule and that really was important to me and like i said just being a people person and people allowing me into their homes i just i love that and yeah. loving getting to work with different people every day no i love that man so that's great and again your company is to be organized and we'll make sure that all the information is available. So if you need to get to Jericho, you know, that will be there. Star will put that somewhere in the video. Uh, now, so again, that's a great insight just for, you know, organizational tips for mm -hmm. homeowners. But let me run a scenario by you. Right? Not so much a scenario, but a challenge that I sometimes come across. Okay. Uh, when I have the privilege to work with someone to assist them in getting their house sold, so a seller, um, one of the things I often have to do when I go in and before we have professional photos done, I have to kind of give them some tips and advice in terms of where to move things. Mm -hmm. Because for us on the sales side of real estate, listing photos are critical, like yeah. good professional listing photos. One of my pet peeves is when I'm looking through a listing mm -hmm. and I can see the master bedroom is unfolded clothes <laughs> on the bed and, you know, dirty laundry and then in the kitchen it's, all kind of appliances on the, the counters, bathroom, 100 shampoo bottles all over the place. So for folks that are preparing to sell their home, what are some of the things that you would offer to them to get them prepared so that not only you eliminate the clutter, but the, sh the house shows good? Yeah, we definitely can come in and declutter everything, you know, that's visible and for the surfaces just to get you ready for the listing photos and for your house to be shown. You know, we could take down all your personal effects and pictures and things. Like you said, pack up the appliances or find a good place to get everything hid. If you know you'll still be using that while, you know, while you guys are um, in the process of selling. But it's mainly just about getting all the things out. We'll pack it up for you mm. like you're getting ready to move and, you know, put it to the garage or put it somewhere wherever you like. But just to help you know, jumpstart your packing process because we do pack as well. Okay, I got you. And that's one of the things you say you do pack and I want to touch on that um, in a bit. So okay. make sure I don't forget. Okay. But in terms of assisting uh, sellers, you're saying that you can come in, declutter, mm -hmm. which is a major thing in the real estate world for, for, for sellers. I mean, you all have probably looked through listings and wondered to yourself, why are you seeing all of this junk? Yes. Because you know what that instantly makes a buyer think? there's not enough storage in this house. Uh -huh. Either that or this person has way too much stuff. Right. So you assist with all of those factors. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure as well as getting the pantry organized, so it kind of flows and looks like a model home. Is that Yes. If, if, if they want to get their pantry and stuff done, but we can at least just go through and tidy everything up and mm -hmm. honestly just get it picture ready. Get rid of all the things that are unnecessary and they won't probably need, you know, from now until they move into their new space. And then a lot of people end up seeing like, that they do have too many things and mm. we will pack that stuff up for them and take it to donate it because everything that we you know you don't want will dispose of all the things for you oh that's awesome man so that that's a bit on folks looking to sell mm -hmm. my question for you would be is there anything or any benefits or service you provide to individuals that have just purchased a home yeah so if it's very easy actually okay. if you have just purchased a home you know even before you've actually moved your things in um, we can go in there and get all the devices in 
place for you to have your system in place before you even move all your stuff in. Like I said, we unpack as well. We'll get to that. Mm. But, you know, we can go get all the stuff that goes for your drawer organizers, get all the things set up for the pantry, set up all the labels, get all the things in the closet, you know, for your hats to hang, all the things that you need before you even move in. So once you're unpacking, you're like, oh, this is where this goes, you know? It makes it so much easier. Makes sense. And I'm, I'm going to be totally honest i think jerica is being very modest in terms of what she offers because here's something that i have experienced both personally and professionally if you think about this if i have a unorganized house i sell that house and i'm moving into my new home what i'm probably going to do is take that same unorganization and move it to the new house and one of the worst things is maybe you have a brand new house that you just built and now you're moving chaos into it it yes. kind of just kills the vibe right away and so what you do is you help to eliminate that so that they go in with a system from day one everything has a place and it runs smoothly and efficiently it runs so much smoother and efficient and it also causes like less stress and anxiety mm -hmm. which i know a lot of people you know get stressed out by a lot of things but kind of don't know where to start so like you said for that it's like a fresh start and it makes it so much easier to maintain because you know, you only have room for what you have room for and you'll realize that you have either too much stuff or, you, you know, you might be just fine. Makes sense. So that's uh, systems and organizations for homeowners. That's systems and organizations for individuals or folks looking to sell their home. Mm -hmm. And systems of organization for folks that are buying a home. So right. you cover all of those. And then we touched on briefly and I'd like to expand on now. You also have a service um for folks that are moving which mm -hmm. is around organization as well so tell us a little bit about that yeah so it's basically our whole move management umbrella so we can come in we can assess what you have in your house uh we'll pack it up you know label all the boxes honestly a person can say i'm going out of town for a week uh, we just closed yesterday we got to be out of here by tomorrow we'll pack up everything uh, coordinate with the movers whatever else needs to be done so you don't have to be involved in it at all and then we'll okay. take everything to the new house unpack it, organize it, and when you come home, everything is unpacked and organized. Oh man, that sounds that sound perfect to me. So, a dream. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's definitely a dream come true. And I'm yes. glad that you shared that with me because I've often had, you know, clients ask me if I have a good moving service to recommend, but one thing most moving companies don't do is just that, mm -hmm. organizing. They might move your chaos from one house to the other, but, but you come in with that system. Yes. And when you unpack, everything is where it's supposed to be or has a home. Yes. Essentially. Yes. No, man, that's excellent. I mean, overall, I don't think I appreciated and understood the mm -hmm. role of a professional or an organizer. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that this information is great, again, not just for homeowners, not just for sellers, not just for buyers. But you have um, plans and systems for builders, and, you know, with model homes and you know, business owners, people, commercial spaces, like you run the full gamut in terms of when it comes to organization. Yes. You can do that. Yes. So, as, as we kind of touched on already, I hear about challenges all the time. And I think the problem is, is that most people don't know what to identify the problem as. Mm -hmm. We might know it as declutter or, or, or cluttering, or we might know it as, you know, not having enough storage space when they, that might not necessarily be the case. So, can we talk about homeowners in general mm -hmm. and from your experience, some of the challenges, challenging areas that they have in their home when it comes to a lack of organization? Yeah, it really just depends. But for most people, I feel like the top areas that people have issues with would be a closet and okay. pantries for sure. Pantry, I know, would be big for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the pantry is different because they obviously come in all shapes and sizes. But, you know, we'll come in there. We'll kind of ask you. You know, what do you use the most? What do you cook with the most? You know, kind of have to even see like where your stove is and where things need to be mm -hmm. relative to that. And the number one thing for pantries is that people have things in their pantries that do not belong in their pantries. I mean, things that go in the garage, yeah, that are supposed to be in the nice. bedroom. It's just a thing. So it's just about like going in and assessing all the things that are in there. We honestly take everything out before we put it back in. And we create a system from that for the things that actually belong in there. Yo, that, that <laughs> make, as you're talking, I, I, could, I could relate. Okay. Because in our pantry, I think there's like some little Halloween basket. That does not go. No, why it's in the pantry. 
but it's in there. Yes. And then another thing that we have, like, you know, I, I know I like certain seasonings when I cook. Mm -hmm. And you might go in there, the seasoning all over the place. So you right. might not, you can't find it. You go and buy some seasoning. Then next thing you know, you have three unopened ones in the pantry because there's no system in there. there. There's no so system. So you would help to eliminate things like Definitely that. Definitely help to eliminate that. And mm -hmm. even if you have things with back stock, we have ways to do that because I know people mm -hmm. have families and children and you know, everybody can't just go to the store every day, pick up cute little things. You're going right. to go to Sam's Club and Costco's, but we definitely can, you know, make room for those things in bulk that people might buy. No, you bring up another interesting point. Which is what? Some homeowners might be able to relate. You said a big C word, children. Oh, yes. You know, children of all ages. Yes. You know, I'm a man that started early and continued late. Okay. <laughs> you know, my oldest child is 20, middle child 14, and then you have the little COVID baby. He's uh -huh. two. Give thanks for lockdown, by the way. Blessing <laughs> in disguise. My two-year-old, he has his bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But you would find his toys and books all over the house. Uh -huh. right? So how would we implement a system, organization system so that not only we know where his stuff goes, but he knows where his stuff goes? Yeah, for kids that are like that young, just using that as an example, mm -hmm. it's easier for them not to have access to every single thing. So you might have, you know, a, a shelf and it has different bins with maybe a picture of it so he can identify where those toys go to be able to put those things mm -hmm. in there. And then I have actual like totes of toys mm. because if they have every toy that they own out, they're never going to play with that. And so I rotate them kind of like every other month and like pull out new toys, put those mm. away, you know, get use of my unfinished basement with all the toys. But that way they are like, wow, it's something new out here. Mm. And, you know, that is just that's just one way that we can do things. But yeah, like I, I said, I, depends yeah. on the space. I love that. I wouldn't even think about rotating <laughs> toys. Yes. Like I'm, I'm going to blame his mother for this. Man, every <laughs> toy he owned, he got it. And it's all over the place. Yes. And Star could be behind the camera right now. I don't care. It's her fault. <laughs> don't, don't. All right, all right. Don't go. He's going to talk in the video. Don't go talk in the video. Now you got to edit this part out. We're not editing that. Well, we don't have real. to talk. You see? Marriage, we talk about that another time. Okay, right? we'll get to that. No, man, but that, that, that's some great insight. So, yes. again, just to kind of, you know, summarize that for homeowners, the importance of having an organization system is so that you know where things belong in each room or in each section of the house. Not everything belongs in a pantry. Not nope. everything belongs in this that throwaway drawer where you just dump stuff. And you can have junk drawers. Mm. I, we have organized junk drawers. I have an organized junk drawer, but it's for, you know, it's a place for the batteries, place for the scissors. Like, there's ways to have all the things that you need, but everything just has a place and where it goes. Mm -hmm. And it'll yeah, be exactly. aesthetically pleasing at the same time, Makes you know? Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. Sure. That's excellent, man. Yes. Well, listen, Jerrica, Miss To Be Organized here in Atlanta, definitely appreciate your time. I think this is where Star would want me to tell you guys something about like, share, subscribe. <laughs> She's shaking her head behind the camera, so maybe not like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell, something like that. <laughs> check the link below for Jerrica information. Don't check Jerrica Instagram stories because of their foolishness. <laughs> I think that's Nothing everything Star foolish. would want me to share. Everything's foolish on there. No, man, but Jerrica, I appreciate it. Thank you. And continued success to you. Oh, I and, appreciate um, it. As always, I look forward to us partnering up and assisting clients in the future. Yes. Uh, it's been fantastic to date and I look forward to doing much more of it. All right? Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. A shout out to everybody that Jerrica has a nickname for. Again, that's a story. <laughs> Talk to them nice. Talk to them nice. <laughs>